Hi, I'm Cliff, a recreation specialist here at Lakeshore. Lakeshore is a nonprofit organization that serves individuals with physical disabilities, chronic health conditions through sport, recreation, fitness, and research. Today I want to show you a little bit about adaptive shooting and some of the things we use here at Lakeshore to make shooting accessible for absolutely anyone. To start with, I want to show you the rifles that we use. This is a standard air rifle made by Finework Bow that uses compressed air. It is a single shot air rifle and I've found it, it incredibly easy to use. Uh, it is a junior size rifle which I do recommend for adaptive shooting because it's a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter and just makes it a little bit easier to handle. Um, if you are interested in doing competitive shooting, the youth rifle is, uh, is allowed. Some of the components I want to point out on this rifle is the lever on here. This is incredibly easy to operate. So individuals with limited hand function or uh, just li limited physical ability can usually load the rifle themselves. Uh, another component I want to show is the rear and front sight. These sights are standard uh, and aren't adapted. However, I have this other rifle to show an adapted sight that we have on here. And this is a, just a red dot laser sight. And so what it does, it actually projects a red light down range. So this sight would be used for someone with low vision or actually completely, completely blind. So individuals that have no vision at all can actually shoot. The way it works is these individuals aim the rifle themselves and they actually have a sighted person helping them uh, and directing them either left or right or up, or in, up and down and they work as a team to get the, the shot in as close as they can and, and we found it to be pretty successful here at Lakeshore. In target shooting there are three positions that shooters use and those positions are standing, kneeling, and prone. In adaptive shooting they also use those positions but they may look a little bit differently for standing, a shooter is not allowed to use their elbows for support, so they must be completely suspended in the air. A kneeling position would look like having one elbow on the table, and then finally a prone position, a shooter is allowed to put both elbows on the table. Here to help demonstrate some of our adaptive shooting positions is Josh. Josh, if you want to go ahead and shoot and show us the standing position. And then the next shot, he's going to show you the kneeling position. So he, again, is allowed to put one elbow on the table, providing a little bit more support than a standing position. And then finally, the last shot he's going to take is from a prone position. And this does provide you with the most support and makes the shot the easiest to aim. Both elbows are on the table. Some of the other equipment I want to show you is, uh, this is not an adaptive a piece of equipment, but this is safety wear. Uh, it's eye, just eyeglasses. You can get these at any hardware store or sports store. Um, highly recommend uh, using these when you do any type of shooting. At Lakeshore, we do require that all shooters wear eye protection. Another thing we do have that we do not require is these ear protection. Uh, ear protection is not necessarily uh, needed for shooting. The, the noise is not incredibly loud to where it can be damaging. However, for some individuals, it can be startling. So in order to prevent uh, spastic movement, they might want to consider wearing ear protection. Some of the other adaptive equipment that we use here uh, are these tripods. The tripods are nice. They allow individuals with lower physical ability uh, to be able to hold the rifle independently. Um, but you can see there's a spring on here that actually can simulate shake. So there's still a competitive element to it, which is nice. 
And then moving on down, let's say someone is wanting to do just purely recreational shooting um, and get the most accurate shot as possible, but they have limited uh, physical uh, ability or physical strength, sandbags are gonna be their best friend. The sandbags allows you to put all the weight of the rifle uh, actually on the sandbag and the individual shooting the rifle only has to be able to pull the trigger um, and see through the sight. So sandbags are a, a great piece of adaptive equipment that we use. Another thing that we use here is called a sip and puff trigger mechanism. What this does, it actually attaches to the rifle and allows individuals to uh, insert the straw into their mouth and by either sipping, sucking in or blowing, they can actually pull the trigger that way. So they, individuals that can't even use their fingers are allowed to, are able to shoot. So this is a, a, a great little mechanism that makes shooting adaptable for anybody. Uh, finally, I wanna show you some of the targets that we use. The standard rifle target at 10 meters uh, looks just like this. And um, if you were going to compete, this is what you would be shooting at. Someone that is a beginner may want to use a larger target. This target is actually a standard pistol target. Um, but for new shooters, I like to show them or have them start on this. It, allows for a little bit more success and lets them learn the gun before moving them up to the competitive 10 meter rifle target. And finally, one other target that we use is called a shoot and see target. And these targets can be used for individuals with low vision. And what it does is when you hit the target, it splatters paint and allows for a high contrast. So uh, the, the individuals with low vision, when they look at the target, they can actually see pretty clearly where they've hit. Whereas on the other target, the contrast is not enough for someone with low vision to be able to see. That's all the adaptive equipment that I have to show you today. Um, thank you for your time.